Good afternoon. I am here in my studio, and uh, I know that not everyone is working today. It is a national holiday, at least it is an observed federal holiday, and I think it's appropriate that we think about why do we have holidays? What is there to observe? Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. has a legacy of working nonviolent protest to work toward equality, to work toward justice, and I believe that um, it's something that we, we're still working on. We've made many strides, but we still have a long way to go. I'm going to read excerpts from his famous I Have a Dream speech, and it's the parts that resonate the most with me, and it isn't real long, but I think it's appropriate today as we honor, um, honor him, we honor those that have worked um, toward justice, and hopefully that it, as the things in our nation um, can inspire us, those things that are happening can inspire us to be better, to rise above. I say to you today, my friends, so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted, every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain, and the crooked places will be made straight. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangled discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day when we will be able to sing with a new meaning, my country country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain, Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mohill of Mississippi. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens, 
when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Oh, um, hope, with hope and gratitude, um, I am thankful for today.